What's good, YouTube? Mr. J Kicks back again with the brand new shoe review video. Um, it, pretty much in the description, and as you can see right here in front of me, I have the Air Yeezy Twos. Uh, I picked these up a while ago, but you know, just didn't get around to doing the review. So I said, hey, got time on my hands, might as well do a review today. All right, so let's get into review. As you can see here at the box tag, it says the Air Yeezy Two NRGs. As we come a little closer. You see it says black, black, solar red. Now let's open up the box, get into the shoes here. Okay. Let's take out my shoe. Okay. Boom. But you know what? Alright, that's a little better. Okay. Okay, so you have so you see what we have here is the the black and the solar red pairs, which by far is my favorite pair. A lot of people are really liking the platinums a little bit more, but I really am drawn to the solar reds. I guess because they're all black with that pink hit, kind of a little reminiscent to the uh, Air Yeezy ones, the black and pink Air Yeezy ones. And at the same time, it goes with a little bit more outfit. So by far, to me, it's my favorite colorway. Well, being that said, let's get into the shoe. Let's start, um, no, why not? Let's just start here in front of the shoe here. As you see here to the front of the shoe, we have this uh, ballistic material. Uh, very interesting choice that uh, Nike decided to use this material. They say that it doesn't crease up as much as the, uh, the ones did. To me, they crease up, but they're not that bad because as you start to wear them, it kind of like it stretches out a little bit better, so you don't really see that much of the creases in the shoe. Uh, but I like it either way. As we work our way here to the suede, the suede is very nice, very refined. It has a very nice touch to it. It almost has like a wear, like a wear and tear type of feel to the uh, to the suede. Very nice. Um, let's see here. Okay, so you can see here as we has the gold, the gold uh, aglets, the obelisk actually. Um, in the bag, of course, you know, it comes with the other colorway, which is more of a, like, a gunmetal. I decided for the gold, of course, because, you know, the gold makes the shoe pop way better. As we work our way here to the strap here, as you can see, it has those ridges. Uh, very nice quality right there. You can see the suede is a very, very nice quality. Overall, this whole shoe, you know, Nike put a lot of work into the shoe. I mean, of course, being the fact that they collaborate with Kanye West, you know they're going to put a lot of effort into making good quality of the shoe. As we open up the strap here, you can see the Velcro there. Here, of course, finishing off with that nice material. Uh, let's work our way to the hieroglyphics. Uh, a lot of people said this hieroglyphic spells out easy too. Not exactly too sure. Haven't really done much of my information on that part, but I'm guessing it probably would be since it is their easy tools. Um, close this here. And of course, let's work our way to the side panels of the shoe. You can see it has Nike here embroidered. Very nice. And as you see down here on the side, we have nice suede material with the triangles I guess to represent the uh, the obelisk um, let's work our way here to the other side panel of the shoe which we have here is like this anaconda print very nice material it's like a mixture of like I guess this suede it's nice because as you brush your finger across it's like you can actually really feel how indented the uh, scales are that was a very nice touch on Nike Spart. Um, let's work our way down to the midfoot. As you see onto the midfoot here, we have this nice matte black finish. Air bubble right there is a nice black. So we turn our way here to the back of the shoe. We have, I believe, these are the shark fins. Not too exactly sure where the inspiration came from this, but very nice detail overall. As you see down to the bottom, of course, that matte black finish comes around. Turn the way back to the other side. Again, we have more scales. Very nice quality with the embossed Nike's check. One of my favorite details, well, one of my other favorite details of the shoe is the fact that this uh, Nike check is nice embossed and it pops out. So it's a very nice quality there. Um, let's see what we have here. Ear unit there. Again, matte black finish again going around. As we see, we come back where we are front, as I kind of forgot. You, we have these uh, nice, the NRG, which I'm 
guessing I believe it means for the glowing technology that they use in the shoot. Not exactly too sure. Don't, uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what it means. Uh, as you can see, it has a nice NRG green sole, which pretty much glows in the day and very nice at the dark. Um, which also this sole is the AirTech Challenge, if you remember from the Andre Agassiz, which is that's where they decide to get the sole from. As we work our way to the bottom here, like I said again, AirTech Challenge 2, see the Nike there. Of course, it is worn because I paid good money for this and it will be worn. Uh, as well, almost forgot. As we work our way back up to the shoe, uh, you see we have this nice lace lock again with that scale print. And if you turn away around, I'm probably not going to say because I don't feel like I'm lacing it right now. But as in the back of here, it's suede and it has the uh, Roman number two, so it represents the Air Easy 2. And as we see here, we also have the uh, Horus logo and the triangle in the circle. A lot of people think it's Illuminati, but I really don't think it represents Illuminati. I just think it just represents uh, the Horus logo. Pretty much, I think Kanye decided he just wanted to go with the whole Egyptian theme. And as you can see here in the back, you can see this like this whole weave print, uh, like this whole honeycomb looking print in the back. Um, let's get here inside of the shoe, as we can see here, it is this nice hot pink looking colorway. And I don't feel like taking a tissue paper either. Pretty much on the footbed itself, it is the Horus logo again embedded into the uh, footbed. Overall, great shoe. Highly one of my greatest pickups for this year. Um, looking more to see more colorways coming out for the shoe. And of course, the Air Easy 3s. Pretty much Air Easy is my favorite shoe. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my review. Until next video, see you guys very soon. Signing out, Mr. J Kicks. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, like. Show some love, and I'll show you back some love. Peace out, people.